Welcome back to AM Northwest. Well, we have to welcome back one of our favorite people ever. One of the stars of the show, of the movie, Strange Darling, our good friend, actor Ed Bakley Jr. Ed, are you there? There you are. Very hard of hearing, as you probably remember. <laughs> and uh, that will make me hear all the better. So there, you, there you go. Okay, this movie is so good. It's a horror thriller. It's incredible. Um, I have to tell you, I watched it last night, and all I could think is, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. What was I it? I shouldn't see it coming either. Yeah, right? So when you saw the script to this, it's a thriller, it's a horror movie, unexpected twists and turns. When you first saw the script, what did you think? I thought, okay, this is one of those movies that I'm not sure I like, this kind of a gory thriller movie, and I... Well, I'll finish it up because he's a friend of my friend, Deanne Molnar. Friend, he's a nephew of Deanne Molnar, wonderful writer, J.T. Molnar. So I, I'll read the kid's script and then by page, well, I won't tell you what page because that'll tip things off. <laughs> I went, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what's going on here? Right. And I was captivated. It, it was amazing. I, I love that you all, you were, you're more than game to do um things for friends. You're more than willing to take on a project for a friend. And and I know so you got you've got the book back there, <clears throat> your memoir, which is one of the best memoirs ever written, I have to tell you. And there's it's so a, sweet to read it. Well, it's wonderful. And if I can get our viewers to read it, it's one of the best ever. And I swear to you, Ed, it's six degrees of Ed Bagley Jr. because you know everybody in Hollywood. And one of the reasons is you'll do things for other people. It's it's a great read. <clears throat> but let's talk Bless your about, heart, Helen. Let's talk about Strange Darling. Oh, my gosh. What was that experience like, working with Barbara Hershey for the first time? Yeah, how did we avoid it? She and I, all these many years. Yeah. I've been in SAG since 1967, she perhaps <coughs> even a bit before that. And I've always loved her work, and I finally got to work with her, and what a treat. She's so good in the movie. Everybody's good in the movie. Yes. Willa Fitzgerald is amazing. Kyle Gallner, amazing. Every single person is great. And uh, the big star, of course, is JT, who wrote this incredible script that we all loved and lived for and uh, did a very good job with, as it turned out. He and did you, his work and we did ours. And you shot it in Oregon, right? I love getting up there, as you know, to see you guys and see my grandkids and my son, Nick, and daughter-in-law, Jess. So it's, it's a great town, Portland, and any excuse to get up there and to work on a film up there is a triple bonus. You yeah. Know? And you get to see your grandkids, and how are they doing? They're getting so big. I know that sounds really corny, but they are getting so big. They are. I've got a grandson who's 21, then I've got this. I've got Aww. a granddaughter who's 16 and a grandson who's three. That's my wallpaper, of course, my yes. screensaver. They're so adorable. I get to look at them every time I look at my phone. Oh, my gosh, they're adorable. Okay, um, okay. Quickly, I noticed that you you watch you've watched this movie with an audience several times, like not just once, twice, but several times. Do you love the audience reaction? I love the audience reaction. I love the movie. I've seen it, I think, eight or nine times now. <laughs> I just can't get enough of it. It's a really an amazing movie. I've never seen a movie I've been in or any. I've seen Chinatown like five times probably, but I've seen this movie nine times. It just blows me away. It's so well done. Everything about it, I find new things every time I see it. And it's available now on Amazon pay-per-view, by the way. You don't have to go to the theater. No. If there's a theater near you that has it, I suggest seeing it on the large screen. But failing that, if it, absent that opportunity, uh, go get it online and watch it as a streaming you know, pay-per-view. It's yep. just fantastic. That's exactly what I did. Let's talk about your kids. How are all your kids doing? Do you mind if I check in on them? Oh, no, my kids are wonderful. There's Nick, Amanda, Hayden. My three wonderful kids and I got three wonderful grandkids we saw a moment ago and a great daughter-in-law Jess, lovely wife Rochelle. I'm blessed many, many times over. And it sounds too like your kids are following in your footsteps when it comes to the environment. They're much greener than me. You know, you hope your kids do the same you do, hopefully even better and they're that and then some. They're really green warriors, each one of them. They're amazing people and I'm so proud of them, what they've done creatively, what they've done environmentally. Hayden is right there with me. We took the uh, subway to the Oscars a few times now. We've ridden bikes to the Oscars. Uh, always trying to get an alternative way to get different places. I love it. And you know, Hayden is so proud of you. I'm sure all your kids are. But she did an Instagram post recently where she said she is the luckiest Nepo baby ever. 
and she just I love that she owns it. And she owns it for sure. And also, it's like you're a regular guy, which I've noticed too. All of us have noticed when you come to visit us. You're a regular guy. Like you, people may know who you are, but you are just. A guy just like doing your thing. You go to the movie, you come out, you say hi to everybody, no matter who it is. It, that's just you're the you. same, Helen. You're uh, every, well. I'm not. I'm you're a regular not. lady there in beautiful Northwest. So yeah. God bless uh, you. I am not you, Ed Vagley Jr. Pretty amazing. I, you also have a Hallmark movie coming out too. Holiday Touchdown. Had a great time doing that in beautiful Kansas City. I've never. I've gone through Kansas City, but I've never spent the night there. I'd lovely stay there for a month and uh, did a wonderful Hallmark movie called Holiday Touchdown. And just the food was great there, too. Had, there's lots of barbecue that is not meat. They have barbecue of different things and uh, lots of great sides and veggies. I had great food and a great time there in Kansas City. Diedrich oh. Bader, that's my dear friend Diedrich. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, I have to go digress just a bit because in the movie Strange Darling, you in your character cooking up this incredible meal that is anything but vegan or vegetarian. It is the complete opposite of Ed Bagley Jr. I'll warn some people there's some violence and gore in the movie, yes. not the least of which is my, that breakfast I prepare is quite gory. <laughs> yes, my vegan opinion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of murder on the. A lot of, a lot of murder on the. Yeah. on that plate. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's why JT picked me. He wanted me to do that scene if nothing else. <laughs> he just cooking up a bunch of meat and, you know, all sorts of other goodies. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so holiday touchdown, though. Um, so it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Everyone is in love with them right now, especially because the whole Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey kind of love story behind it. Now, I understand that Travis's mom is also in this movie. Is that right? That's what I've heard. That's a rumor myself. And, oh, uh, yes. it, it's I, a I, rumor. I'm, well, I'm told not to say too much about the movie. I don't want to give away some surprises, but I will tell you it is not based on the uh, wonderful relationship that Taylor and, uh, you know, her husband have. Yeah. Awesome. OK, now I have to ask you the most important question to me, which is how's your little doggy bunny? How's let me get Bunny. Bunny's right here by my side all oh, the time. Oh, we just showed everyone a picture, but let's get Bunny. Bunny Here's my little girl. I'm going to bring her up so you can see her better. <laughs> There's a Bunny! There's a Bunny! Oh, my goodness. She wants to be with me every minute of every day, and I want the same. Well, and originally it was your daughter who spotted the dog and was going to pick she her up. But you... Yeah, like the bunny just stuck to you. She did. My daughter got her car towed on my birthday two years ago. Come up, Dad, I'm so sorry. My car got towed. I don't know where they took it. Can you help me? I'm sorry to do this on your birthday. I said, honey, it's a gift right away. I get to spend more time with you on my birthday. It's wonderful. We get to the tow yard. I said, now, honey, a tow and an impound is expensive. Let me come in and put it on my credit card. Don't tell your mom. Said, no, no, I did this. It's your birthday. I'm going to go in and pay for it. I get about a minute away, my phone rings, I look at her, I said, I'm turning around and coming back. Your credit card didn't handle the amount, did it? <laughs> she said, no, no, I paid for it already. What are you talking about? But there's a little dog here, this little black terrier. It turned out it was black from all the soot and oil that had been around. Right. And so right. she said, I'm going to clean it up and put it on the internet so we, we can help the owner reunite with this great little dog. And so the do she did that, but the dog had no chip, no collar. Nobody has claimed it. So we have this wonderful dog here in our lives. It's just fantastic. But all that good work my daughter did with her, she went, thank you so much. She sees me across the room for the first time that I can tell you. I, I don't recall meeting this dog before. She came to me and went, where the hell have you been? I was stuck in a tow yard. You look a little different, but you smell the same. So let's go. She has been by my side ever since that moment. I, I got to get emotional when I think about it. What makes, you, what makes you emotional about it? What's so emotional about it? You know, dogs sometimes can tell when people have some sort of ailment, and uh, I certainly can qualify for that with Parkinson's. I think she knew that right away, and she came to me, and she's been by my side ever since. She's my wonderful partner. Yeah, she makes you feel so much better, doesn't she? She's an angel from she, heaven. Yeah, absolutely. We want to tell everyone Strange Darling is rated R, and it is available to purchase for streaming on Prime Video, Apple TV, and other video on-demand platforms. And don't forget to read his memoir to the Temple of Tranquility and step on it. Ed, always great to see you. Thank you so much. 
Helen, I love you. Thanks for your patience too with the geezer getting on at the last minute with the wrong <laughs> from like months ago. I like it's, why it's... am I not getting on? <laughs> you know, afternoon northeast or something. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's what you're dealing it's, with. It's live TV. It makes it fun. Thank you so I much. I love you a lot. Helen. Love you so too. To love you too, Ed. We'll be right back with more AIM. The West don't go away. Bye bye. <laughs>